go on a journey with me real quick. So traditionally, when I sit down and have conversations with my clients and other businesses that I'm working with, they typically view ADP and their other vendors right here in the operating expense area, right? Which, relative to the grand scheme of things, is a very small number, okay? So if you just go on a journey with me real quick, I'd like to show you where the conversations that I'm having today with my clients are much more focused on a big number. And when you start looking at a bigger number, you're going to be more likely to have an impact down here on what you go home with at the end of the day. All right, so if I were to leave ADP today and I were to start my own business, I would be focusing on revenue, growth of my organization, market share, all of the fun things about being in business, right? This is why you get in business. Here's where the reward is at. The problem is that just by the nature of being in business, you have to deal with a lot of different tactical things, right? You're an employer. So now you have to deal with employees, their attitudes, you've got payroll, <laughs> you've got benefits, all of these things that don't make you any money, right? Here is where all of that risk is at. By the way, zero reward. So when I'm having conversations, it really blows my mind to think and know that organizations like yours spend 90 to 100% of their time over here, and maybe only 10% over here. Why is that, <laughs> right? I mean, 90% over here where there is zero reward and a ton of risk, I'll tell you why. Because there are a ton of distractions. Distractions look like this. So you've got your HR and your payroll over here. You've got all of this data going in here. You've got your payroll, you've got your, your benefits coming in, you've got government inquiries, and you've got all of this information coming out. So you've got to get paychecks to your employees, you've got to respond to government inquiries, you've got to get your benefit invoices reconciled. So there's a lot of confusion going on in here. There's a lot of distractions. This is a lot of money flowing back and forth and this right here. Kind of looks like a butterfly, right? Probably pretty good. It's not crashing the wall, right? So, furthermore, what makes this even more complicated is that you've got all this data coming in and flowing out. It's a very confusing, distracting situation. And then you start taking a look at the structure, how this is all set up. So I'm a business, I'm going along, and, I, and I'm growing. I have to start adding employees. And I decide that I need to put in place some kind of a payroll system. Then I have another 10, 15 employees, and now I need a better way to manage my time and attendance. So then I go and I purchase a time clock. Add a few more employees, and now I need to start offering benefits because the ACA is taking effect. And then we want to add 401k. And then we want to do performance on and on and on. And next thing you know, you've got all of this information flying around in here, and you've got all of these different systems here set up that are managing this, this information, and there's no true flow of information, right? So it, now you start to realize why an organization spends so much time here and so little time over here focusing on the reason why they even got into business. So the good news is, is that there are better ways of doing things. The thing is that at this point in time, I don't know necessarily the best way for your organization to do this. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to schedule time to come back out and work with your team members to learn the different processes and the different functions that they're responsible for within the organization. And based on that, I'll be able to come back with a recommendation and uh, see if there's some areas that we can uh, help you guys out. Good. Uh -huh.